What is up everybody, it is Moombo here, and welcome back to another episode of Scrap Mechanic Suggested Creations. Now, this is a build that doesn't fly, it doesn't move either, but it's very interesting, and this is the house from Hello Neighbor. Now, I've gotta be honest, I've never played the game, actually, and, uh... Doing this build, I had to do quite a bit of research, I've watched a whole bunch of videos and gameplay, and I've looked at pictures as much as I can to try my best to match it to what I saw. Uh, so I'm really happy with the results though, and it, it kind of made me wonder if I should maybe try that game at some point. I don't know. It, it didn't really look like my style of a game, uh, but I definitely had a lot of fun uh, building this house. So I tried to add as much detail around the outside as I could. Um, I'll be honest as well, the inside, I only got the first floor done because I spent, I honestly spent like the last three or four days working on this house and the, the longest part was honestly building all of those rooftops there. As you can see, uh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like there's seven peaks and there are a couple side ones as well. Um, so I think at the end of the episode I'll probably end up on the roof there just so I can show you guys how I did that and all the different intricate kind of intertwined peaks that are up there. Uh, so I'll start out here though. This is the red car. I tried to see what kind of a car it was and I could only come up with a red car. So uh, this is a little red car. I made it just uh, to really tie the whole build together here and I can hop inside through this little hole here and you can see uh, I tried to hide those back wheels, which ended up putting them a little bit closer to each other than I really wanted, so it's not very stable. But you can actually drive around. Um, I mean, in the game itself, you can't actually drive the neighbor's car. Uh, but I just thought it would be a pretty neat thing to have, which is just a little red car. So I started putting this fence around, and I was going to put it all the way around the house. But the house started to get a little bit laggy, and this fence was honestly taking me a long time. It was a lot longer than I was expecting once I looked at all the pictures and I could see that it was actually all the way around the house. But we're gonna step inside here. You can see I did the front entrance. Uh, it does get a bit of an FPS drop when you do start walking into the house, but it's not terrible. So you can see I added some clutter to the front here. I noticed in a lot of the videos that I was watching that there's a lot of weird stuff in the house and I tried to balance it with uh, some weird stuff and some normal stuff. Uh, so you can see everything, all the details were taken from the game, so I'm sure you guys have probably played the game, and you probably know more about it than I do. Uh, but here, this is the garage. Now, I had a lot of fun making this garage, actually. Uh, you can see there's three doors. I, I couldn't believe it. I had to rewatch a video, like, five times to make sure that those three doors all led into the garage. Uh, and I'm still convinced they do, but maybe they don't. Uh, so you can see this left switch right here, um, taking advantage of the lights with the new update. Uh, so it just illuminates the entire garage here. And then the next switch over is the one that you press and that'll open up the garage here. And you can then drive that red car up into this garage. And if you drive it all the way to the back wall there, you can actually press this button. Actually, I don't even think you need to go to the back wall. Uh, but you can drive it in and then shut the garage there if you'd like. And of course, don't forget to turn the lights off before you leave the room. Uh, so, I mean, see, this is this was in the game. This, These big, huge tank stuff, I don't know, there were tanks and chairs flopping around. I wasn't too sure, but I just decided to put them in there, just in case. So, you can see this house is humongous, and I only did the first floor, and there are tons of rooms. I have a lot to show you guys. Uh, so, I'm thinking I might eventually be able to make the upstairs at some point. I ha I'd have to watch more gameplay and uh, study the house a lot more, um, and that was pretty much what some of the most time-consuming stuff of this build was. Uh, and sometimes you can see these the ratios are a little bit off, and I was trying to balance the outside design with the inside design here. Uh, so this is a slightly odd-shaped room, uh, but it still gets the point across. You can see the, the uh, light up top there, and the TV right here, and I think there's sometimes a flashlight on that table. And just a bit of a couch and a side table. So this is a weird uh, weird house as well, actually. I put a bunch of weird stuff here. So this is, like, an exit, I think. I'd have to play the game to truly understand what this door does, uh, but it seemed to be boarded up all the time. And then this is just a separate room that seems to be pretty abandoned. 
Uh, you can see random boxes, and the TV it looks like this one has fallen over, actually. And another boarded up window. Now this door, um, I, I don't know, there's no switch here, but you'll see this house is full of weird things. So, I'm sure you saw in the intro, this hallway leads to certain doom. Uh, you get caught by the neighbor down this hallway. Um, so right here, if you walk, you can see I just put a little sensor right there, and it's kind of hidden. Uh, and it activates it like a button, actually. No, sorry, like a switch. And you can see, boom, there it is. The neighbor has caught you, so he pops right out. Uh, you can put that back away by putting the sensor back on like that, and then it's away, so I can just jump over it like so. Uh, and that door there, it doesn't actually open, so you get you get stuck against the neighbor no matter what. And you can see the neighbor completely disappears, and there's nothing left anymore, so you, you're not too wise about it. So right here, this is the kitchen. Uh, you can see I put some sort of floral pattern on the walls here. And a kitchen table in the middle. And this is pretty much what I saw in the videos. I'm not even sure exactly which house this is. I think it's like the Alpha 1 house, the first house that was ever designed for the game. Uh, so I tried to take as much detail as I could from that specific house in the videos that I was watching. Uh, and in that case there, there was actually a fridge blocking a door. So you can see here there's a door back there, but we can't access it because there's a fridge in the way. So we can keep on walking this way, and so you can see there's even more halls here, like this house is humongous, and it doesn't look that big from the outside, but when you're actually in it, uh, you can kind of understand why it took me a few days to get even this far in the build. So here we can walk to the right, and we can see there is a door here with no switch again, I don't know, there's something weird in there. Uh, so this is the bathroom, I tried to match the tile pattern as best I could with what I had. Uh, so it's a pretty simple bathroom though, you got the tub right here. And over here, this is the furnace and boiler room, so I think you can find like a hammer in here, that's what I saw in one of the videos. Uh, so this is kind of neat though, you can see the lights put inside there which uh, illuminate it as if it was an actual active uh, heater there. And the water heater here, and oh, what is that? It looks like I have a switch right here. I wonder what that does, let's press that switch there, and now if we come out this way, Ah, you can see this door is now open. So it's a bit of a hidden switch there. Uh, you can see that's the door that would have led into the uh, kitchen, but the, the fridge is in the way. And then this one here, this is another switch that allows you to open that door that we originally saw on the other side. Uh, so this is just a kind of a neat room with a window here. There's nothing much going on. It does have a radio, actually, so you can turn that on and crank up the tunes, of course. And so if we press this button here, we can open this door. And um, there's something kind of odd about this, because you can actually walk out this way, and oh, the door shuts behind you, so now you're back out here. Uh, so this house offers quite a few little intricacies, and I had a lot of fun just adding all those little nuances and details. Uh, so over here you can see there's another door with no switch though, and just kind of a dead end with a whole bunch of junk stored here. Now, if we go over to this fancy bookshelf though, and around the couch, you will notice another switch here, and this can actually lead you right to, oh, look at that, another neighbor there, so you would get caught, I guess, I mean, I tried to emulate the idea of the, the game itself, Hello Neighbor, and having the neighbor just kind of pop out out of nowhere. So you might actually open that door, not knowing it, and then walking down this hall and realizing that you got caught. And so that's pretty much it for this house. I mean, aside from the uh, the amount of time I took working on that outside, it was uh, it was quite the undertaking. And you can see this is the staircase that would lead to upstairs. Uh, so I could definitely make like another video on this house and finish more of it if it goes that farther into the house. I'm not even too sure. And I think I can actually can I sneak up here? What is this here? What? Oh my god, oh jeez, it's another neighbor, oh my god, alright, that was pretty cheesy. But look at that, there's another neighbor, ready to scare me. <laughs> Even in the unfinished second floor, there's still a neighbor ready to get you. Uh, but we can actually take these chairs now, and get all the way up to the roof here. So now we are in the attic, and I think actually if I grab this and pop a hole, there's a chair right there. And so now we are up in the kind of the uh, green room actually. So you can saw in the intro with the aerial view uh, that you could actually see the uh, green room, which was a, a pretty unique touch to this entire build. But here we are up on the roof now, so I'm just gonna kind of walk around here 
and show you guys all the things I had to do to get all these roofs lined up together. So of course here, this is the top peak. Uh, so you can see it's actually a single bearing with a block on it and that is split on a 45. So it did end up giving me a couple tall peaks. Uh, but you can see I did uh, counteract that. Uh, I tried one here with uh, two pipes on either side that led to a really nice peak here as well. And the green room from out here looks really cool actually. I mean, you get up to it. I think in the game actually you'll actually get up to this green room here and there, it does nothing. The doors don't open, you can't get inside. Uh, so I'm not sure though, I'm gonna have to watch more of the gameplay on this game so I can pro maybe even do more on this house. Uh, so you can see though, this is the large roof here, which I'm pretty sure uses the uh, the two-sided here, so you, it kind of worked out really well the way they overlapped each other on the center here. Uh, but it, I ended up having to put it down like this, and you can see I had to wrap around these peaks here a little bit. Try and squeeze through there. And then these ones are just more of the 45 degree angle. Uh, but it's a lot of fun, there's a lot to add to this house, it's just, it's huge. I'm really proud of it as well though, all of these intricate roofs, and you can see this one actually goes around this way to the back here and wraps it here. And then there's an unaccessible uh, kind of ledge here, uh, but that's some stuff I could further add into this house. So like I said, I'm really, really happy with this build. Um, I, thank you so much for the suggestion, I love doing suggested creations. Uh, I'm trying my best to stay unique with them. Uh, it's been a while since I've done anything flying, like a jet or a plane, so I'm maybe going to move into that soon. I'm really having a lot of fun with these one-off unique builds, though. Uh, so if you guys do have any more suggestions for suggested creations, then make sure you put it down in the comments. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, then make sure you hit that like button. And of course, subscribe for Endless Scrap Mechanic. And I will be seeing you guys in the next one.